we're going to do our high frequency words. Below, both, follow, most, move, own, road, show, window, yellow. So those are our high frequency words. Now we're going to do our spelling words. You ready? Own, most, soap, float, both, no, loan, goat, flow, loaf. All right, so those are our spelling words. Does anybody know what these spelling words have in common? It's a certain sound. Harlow? Uh, Guys, make sure whenever Harlow's talking, your volume is all the way down. Harlow, do you remember? All right, let me see who can help you. Bella, Bright, I saw your hand raised. Go ahead and unmute yourself, Bella. They both have. Can what do you all go of you? Huh? Can you go back? Because oh. I. Hold on. I have some friends that can help you. Let's see. Rolando, what sound did you hear in all those words? Uh, they all have AF. Oh, close. So that's not quite. All right. I still hear somebody's volume is still up. You need to turn down your volume on your iPad in order for the echo to go away. Okay. The next one, Christopher, I saw your hand third or fourth. Raise your hand. They all have O. The O sound. Exactly. Good job. They all have the long O sound. They do. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and um, look at this tab here. So I'm going to share this tab. Does everybody see the, the picture of the ocean? Give me a thumbs up if you can see the picture of the ocean. Okay. Isabella, you're going to have to wait just a second. It lags just a little bit. Can you see it now? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and um, go ahead and listen to it. Ocean. Ocean starts with a long O sound. O. The sound and the picture name are O. Ocean. Say that with me. O. Ocean. The long O sound matches the letter name. O. Now look at the other ways to spell the long O sound. In words with the O consonant E pattern, the final E is silent, but signals the long O sound for O. The vowel teams OA and OW can also stand for long O. At the end of a word or syllable, the vowel team OE can stand for long O. So some examples that may um, have with the, the words um, P and then they have the missing letter with an E is the word pole, like a flagpole, P-O-L-E. If you hear the O sound in pole, that also um, has the long O sound. 
We also have the words OA, and OA could be the word boat, the word boat, and that has the word B-O-A-T, and that has the long O sound too. What about O-W? Guys, Matt, go ahead and keep your microphone off, please. And we have the word O-W, like in tow. You know how we have to tow yeah. our car away? We want to make sure that we have our mic off. We don't turn on our mic unless we need a question. And you should be pressing the hand bu wave button so that so your wave button can wait until after the reading lesson, okay? Because I see two students that I need to talk to after the lesson, okay? All right, so it says we have um, O-E, like in the word toe, like you're, you're on your feet, you have a big toe, like you stub your toe on, on the chair. So the O-E makes the long O sound too. That's, so that's the long O sound. Those are certain ways that you can spell with the word O, the O sound. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen again and we are switching to this one can everybody see my word map give me a thumbs up if you can see my word map good job all right so make sure that your video camera is on so that i can see isabella you're just gonna have to wait for it to load sweetie sometimes it's slow okay isabella maddox i need your camera on i can't see okay so um, what we're going to do now is, um, so today we are starting our new module five. So we try to, we, so Maddox, you're gonna have to log off and log back on, okay? Um, so we tried to do the test, the module four test, and it wasn't working, so we're gonna just have to put that to the side and we'll figure out, figure out what happened on Friday. And that way it gives those who are absent on Friday a chance to take the test too. So we we'll, won't worry about that until Miss Fullington gets back, okay? So we're going to start Module 5. In Module 5, we are talking about leadership. So we have the blue circle that, has, that says leaders can. And so leaders can, can invent. They can, be, they can pioneer, decide, inspire, teach, and coach. So we're going to the green circle and it says leaders influence. So leaders influence our government. We have leaders in our government like our president and then also our state is our state governor. Those are leaders. The leaders influence ideas and they influence our community. So the way we change our community to be safe, our leaders kind of influence that. Leaders are, so Lee says leaders are brave, admired, creative, confident, and problem solvers. So we always have leaders um, always problem solving. Jorge, we're gonna have to wait on our question. Unless our substitute teacher can help you, then you can ask the substitute teacher, okay? All right, we're gonna move on to this. So I am sharing with you a video about our whole lesson. And I'm going to wait for it to load so that way you know um, what our whole module is going to be about. Christopher, do you have a question or can it wait? I don't have one. Okay. No. All right. So we're going to go ahead and um, start our video. Give me a thumbs up if you can see our video because I don't want to start it until everybody can see it. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start our video. Um, aren't we supposed to be talking about what it takes to be a great leader? Oh, right, like being smart. Or good at sports. Or funny. Um, why don't we go around the circle and talk one at a time? Well, a leader needs to be brave, right? You're right. That should be first on our list. Paul, would you write it, please? Here's a picture to go with it. It's my dad. He's a firefighter. He leads his crew to put out fires and to save people. 
Wow, you must really admire him. Okay. So leaders are brave and help people work together. Inventors are leaders too, aren't they? Like the one who invented the trampoline, a pioneer fun. Evan, a pioneer is a person who invents important medicine or explores new places, like, like a mountain climber who leads people to the highest peaks in the world. I, I think you're both right, because a leader is anyone who dares to try something new. And inspires other people, like Amelia Earhart, the first woman to fly a plane all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. She inspires me to invent a jetpack for wheelchairs so they can fly. So I guess a leader is someone who inspires people. Is really brave. Has great ideas. And shows people how to work together by setting a good example, like you, Melinda. What qualities do you admire in a leader? Oops, oops. Yes, Maddox. Yes, Maddox. I couldn't see. Well, you went to the restroom, okay, sweetie? So what we're talking about is what our leaders, okay? All right, go ahead and answer your question. All right, so we know that leaders um, influence a lot of people. They also inspire people to do different things, right? They encourage people. They also help the community change in a better way. And so um, what we're talking about is leadership and how to be a leader. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our next slide. All right. So I'm going to share with you some of our power words for today. There are only three of them. So I'm going to need you to, um, everybody say admire. When we admire someone, it says, when you admire someone, you like and respect that person. It says, I admire my grandpa because he teaches me to do many things. Sometimes it says, I admire my mom because she takes care of my family and she cooks food for me and makes me feel better when I'm sad. So admire is a very special word for someone who is very special to you. You know, that you, someone that you look up to. Okay. Our next word is, everybody say, inspire so inspire what inspire means it says when people inspire you they give you new ideas it says my friends inspire me to take better care of my community so we see here in this picture her friends and her are picking up trash in a park so they are inspiring each other to take care of their community it says, when the principal admires our work, it inspires us to keep working hard. So inspire is also meaning to encourage one another to do the right thing, right? Our last one is, everybody say pioneer, pioneer. Pioneer means, it looks kind of, I like this picture, it's pretty cool. When you pioneer something, you are the first person to do it. It says here, astronauts help pioneer new ways of exploring outer space. So these are really good leaders to help us explore different things that maybe are out of our ability. So they have the opportunity to do that. Maddox, I need you to put mute on. Thank you. So it says here, if you pioneer a new game, you make it up. So I know a lot of you pioneer new games here in recess because y'all do like freeze tag or you'll have different ways of doing tag. And that's pioneering because you have new ideas to make new games. So it makes everything fun. You also inspire people when you make new games. Did you know that? It's pretty cool. Miss Warrington. Jorge, oh, yeah. can your question wait? It shows a flag behind it. Yes, there was an American flag behind it. Good job. All right, we're going to keep moving on, guys, okay? All right, our next um, thing I'm going to share is our skill that we are learning today. Can everybody see our poster? Give me a thumbs up if you can see our poster. I love how we are paying attention and we're ready to go. We're moving along pretty well. Maddox, let it load just a little bit, okay? If you still can't see Maddox, go ahead and move yourself to someone not close to them, but close enough where you can see their screen. So you can see just like Mackenzie's doing, okay? 
Can you see the poster now? No, okay, so you need to go ahead and find a neighbor to go ahead and sit by, okay? Isabella, we're gonna wait on our questions. Okay, so we have ideas and supports. When authors write to persuade, they want readers to do or believe something. Ooh, so we know that word persuade pretty well. We know that persuade, Isabella, I need you to pay attention. Is um, So persuade means to change someone's mind. So we know that word pretty well, right? It's an opinion. Persuade means, um, so first it can be opinions. What does the author think or feel? So something that you could probably um, say is I think or I believe or I feel or blank is the best blank. So I can say I believe that Santa Claus is real. So that's an opinion. That's my opinion. Somebody else may think something different. Or you can say I think that um, chocolate ice cream is be is the best is better than vanilla ice cream. And someone else may think something else differently. Maybe somebody thinks strawberries better than vanilla ice cream and chocolate. So you have, that's an opinion. So you're trying, not trying to change someone's mind, but you're sharing your thoughts with someone else. And someone may not agree with you, right? But you can still share your thoughts in a nicer way. So we're gonna go down and follow this, the first orange arrow, it says reasons. What reasons support the opinion? Look for facts or things that can be proved. So sometimes you need data. Sometimes you need information. So sometimes you um, probably say, oh, I believe that tigers are better than lions. So then you have to do your research on tigers and on lions to see which one is actually the best animal. Okay. So also we're going to follow the second orange arrow. It means examples. So you have to give examples for your reasons. What examples or details are going to tell you, tell more about the reason, right? The reason. So when we move on, we're going to move on to our story. So I know you don't have your books just yet. And so next week when Miss Valentine comes back, we'll get those out to you. So that way you have your new books. So it says here, we're going to move on to our next slide. And this is our story. Can everybody see our story? Give me a thumbs up if you can see our story. Good job. Okay. All right. So right here in our story, we're going to listen to the person actually giving us um, some information about it. Okay. So let's listen to the read aloud. Short read. What's good to read? Book reviews for kids by kids. Book. Emmanuel Afosu Yuboa, What Makes a Great Leader? By Malika Hansen. Genre. Biography. Reviewer. Ruthie Miller. Age. Eight. My review. I think this biography is terrific. It is about a man from Ghana whose leg didn't form properly before he was born. Many people thought he would have a hard life because of his leg. He proved them wrong and became a leader. I like this book because it shows what happens when people believe in themselves. For example, some people said Emmanuel wouldn't be able to do things like go to school or play sports. Emmanuel had other ideas. He hopped to and from school each day. He learned to play soccer and how to ride a bike. Another thing I like about the book is that it is about a special kind of leader. Emmanuel set an example for others. He changed how they think. In 2001, Emmanuel rode his bike across Ghana. He showed that people with disabilities can do amazing things. This book reminds you that everyone is special and can become a leader just like Emmanuel did. Everyone should read it. 
So can anybody rate or press the raise your hand button and tell me what a biography might be about? A biography. Mackenzie, make sure you take that tissue out. Thank you. A biography. Harlow, I see your hand. Oops. I see. What do you think it might mean, a biography? Um, think about what the story is about. So we know it's about a man, right? Okay. It's about a little girl. I'm sorry? Guys, make sure your volume on your iPad is down so that I can hear Harlow clearly. Remember, the two buttons on top of your iPad. All right, so Harlow, I'm going to have someone help you out, okay, ma'am? All right, Bella, what do you think the, a biography might be about? It maybe can be about someone missing a leg. Well, it's about someone's what? Someone's life. Life. Good job. So it's about someone's life. So somebody is reading about their lives. Good job, Bella. Good job, Harlo. Yo, we're very close. Yo, we're very close. All right. So it is about someone's life. And so we know that it's about this man who... Um, his leg didn't fully form when he was born, but he can do amazing things even though he doesn't, you know, have a normal leg, right? So, but he can still um, push through and be inspiring. Remember, inspire means to encourage other people. So maybe he, he has a really good um, inspiration for those who have a disability, like they, they don't have... Um, like normal things that we might have right now. And so he creates he creates an idea that we are special in our own way, right? That we can do things even though we might not think we we may um not might not think that we are good at doing things, but he can inspire and encourage us to do better things, right? Good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you in Seesaw what you're gonna be doing today in reading. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Can everybody see our seesaw screen? Give me a thumbs up if you can see our seesaw screen. Let it load so that way you can see it. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Okay. Harlow, can you see it? All right. So Mackenzie, your thumb should be up. Okay. All right. So in reading, um, we're going to activities in Miss Fullington's tab. And right here, it says Monday 12-7 spelling and high frequency words. It says complete the spelling and high frequency words activity to practice your words for the week. So we may not have a spelling test today, but we can still practice the words to get better practice. So on this one, it says read the clues, write the word from the word bank that goes with each clue. So you're going to read the clue and figure out which one best fits that clue. So we're going to read the first one. The sun is this. So we have the word bank right here. It says below, own, both, road, follow, show, most, window, move, yellow. So somebody raise their hand to tell me what goes best with this clue. Omar, I see your hand. Yellow. Good job. Good job. It is yellow. So I'm going to type my answer in, and guys, you do not have to use the microphone. You have the words right there in front of you where you can type the words, okay? And we are not going to use partner for this work because I know that you know this stuff too. So it says right here on this last part, do not forget to do this rectangle right here. It says write a sentence for a word you did not write yet. So you're going to use seven of these words right here in the word bank, but you're going to pick one word that you have not used yet and put it in a sentence below. Okay. 
So on the second page, super easy. We are not going to use our review words. That's from last week. You may practice saying them, but you don't have to write them here. So you're going to find words with O only here, and you're going to write them here. Words with OA, and you're going to write them below. Words with OW, and you're going to write them below here. Super easy. You're only going to use the basic words right here. Make sure each word goes on one of the lines, okay? I should not see two words side by side. One word here, the next word here, and the next word here, okay? So, does everybody understand what to do in Seesaw for their reading activity? Give me a thumbs up. It's super duper easy. I don't think you have any questions. Miss May can help you if you have any questions on the reading activity. It's super easy, okay? All right, go ahead and log out and go to your Seesaw activity, guys, okay? Bye.